Hi friends, I am Dr. Prabodh Halde, President-elect AFST CFTRI Mysore. I will be covering in this module food alert system, traceability and product recall. Now we will see the three part of the food alert, food traceability and food product recall. The definition of the food given in the act. This is a very elaborative definition given in the act which includes Food means any substances whether processed which is intended for human consumption and includes a primary food, agriculture, horticulture, animal husbandry, dairy or aquaculture. Genetically modified foods or food containing such ingredients, infant food, packaged drinking water, chewing gum and any other substances which including water used into the food preparation during its manufacturing. Preparation or treatment but does not include animal feed, live animal unless they are prepared or processed for human consumption. Plants prior to the harvest, drugs and medicine products, cosmetic, necrotics or psychotropic substances. So this food definition is so elaborative that everything what we eat are covered under the food including nutraceutical. In the section 16, what food authority should do? It is written that Food authority will introduce a rapid alert system as a part of the food authority responsibility. So the alert system is one of the responsibilities of the food authority and food authority has to introduce the alert as on when required. What does it mean by food alert? Food alert are the system for the food authority is the way of letting local authorities and the consumer to know about a problem associated with the food and in some cases provide detail of specific action if taken or to be taken. So basically the food alert there are two kind of communications one is for information and one is for action and there are often these are the alerts issued in conjunction with the product withdrawals or recall. So food alert is something making the people alert about about the food if there is any food safety problem associated with the food. It could be import food or domestic food. So friends, if you go into the FSSA website, you will get various food alert. So in the FSSA website, there is a search engine. And if you put a food alert, you will get recent food alert issued by FSSA authority. So one of the food alert is about alert on recall of the ice cream and other frozen products due to the contamination with listeria issued on 7th May 2015. There is also one more food alert dated actually November 25th 2014. You can go into the various food alert. There is a purpose written, there is a description given and the name of the product. In globally, you have actually read through the various news article, newspaper, TV, in media that various issues with reference to the food safety. It could be tainted baby milk in China, listeria contamination outbreak in Canada, E. coli outbreak in Germany and also the food safety violation in India uh, because of the fish which is actually contaminated with salmonella outbreak. So these are the various issues with respect to the food safety and it is very important to make the people, consumer and state food authority alert about those happenings. Today, whatever we eat, it is not a single ingredient product. It has various ingredients that makes the food as a processed food. Take an example of pizza or take an example of ice cream. Most of the ingredients in ice cream, pizza, break bakery or many others comes from the various sources. Whatever we eat in Delhi or in Mumbai or anywhere, the ingredients are coming from different part of the India or could be from abroad. Take this example of the ice cream. The almonds are coming from USA. Cinnamon is coming from India. Chocolate is coming from Belgium. So it is very, very important to know what is the food safety system adopted by those ingredients and what is the safety health of the ingredients. So the food alerts are very, very important. Food traceability. ISO 22000. Phi has defined the traceability as ability to follow a movement of feed or food through specific stages of production, processing and distribution. 
Traceability system should be able to document the history of the product or to locate the product in the food chain. Why it is important? Because in case of the recall, if in case of the food poisoning, in case of food safety issue, a product should able to recall and thus traceability is important. Traceability has two components. Tracing which is a backward traceability and tracking which is a forward traceability. I will explain you both the items in next slides. When it comes to the tracing, tracing is basically it is a ability to identify what are the ingredients, packing ingredients, packing products goes into the making of the finished product. Take an example of this bottle. This bottle is a packaged drinking water. It is made of the water. Then there is a bottle. Then there is a label. Then there is a cap. So the tracing is ability to trace where this water is coming from, particular this batch, what was the processing conducted on this product, how the label is being supplied by the supplier and who has supplied this particular cap. When it comes to the tracking, tracking is ability to trace the destination of the product. So finally this product is being made when it goes to the distributor from distributor to the retailer. It is ability to track how this product is moving from plant to the depots to the distributor to the retailer. So in case of recall, it can be recalled from various destinations. So friends, there are two parts. One is tracing, one is tracking with reference to the traceability. It must not be forgotten that traceability is the only tool for the establishment of the product authenticity reliability, identification of the problem area of the purpose of tracking and the product recall. As you see, if there is some problem in one of the batches, if we don't know why this particular batch has been having any food safety issue, it could be label, it could be a preform, it could be a cap. It is very very important to identify which part of the product is making a problem. To take the corrective action. So the traceability is very very important. Friends for food recall the traceability which could be the backward traceability or forward traceability is important because if you cannot identify the moment of the product how you will actually recall the products. So the section 22 has given a food recall procedure for mentioning the food recall which is a successful food recall traceability has to be documented properly. So the batch code which is a very very important which talks about the date manufacturing date and batch number is very very necessary for the food business operator to mention on the food product. So for food recall a traceability is a must item and it has to be documented. Now let's see section 28 of the food recall. FSSA section 28 talks about food recall. It says that if the food business operator considered or has a reason to believe about any food safety issue, he or she should recall the product and basically for the consumer safety. We will see the detail. There was a notification issued by FSSA which actually file number 1 of 59 FSSA 2009 which has given the detail about the food recall and as per those notification food recall the objectives are given that this is a guideline for the food business operator how to carry out the food recall if there is any issue with reference to the food safety. This is also the guideline given to the food business operator how to establish a written recall plan for carrying out a food recall of that particular batch. It is also to establish a follow up action post recall report in order to ensure a effectiveness of the recall and prevent a reoccurrence. Because nobody would like to have a recall many times. We need to also need to take a preventive action to stop the reoccurrence of the food recall. What is the scope of the food recall? The regulation of the food recalls are applicable to the recall of the food that present a threat to the public health. So it is very very important to understand whenever there is a threat to the public health or the product quality which does not conform to the act and rules and regulation and has some public health problem should be recalled. All food business operators engaged into the wholesale supply, manufacturer, import or any of the activity are under the scope of food recall. 
Very interesting to know, retail is excluded. What does it mean? The food recall primary will be done by food business operator engaged in basically a producing center, manufacturing center or importing FBOs, food business operator. Retailers are excluded. The food recalls are only up to the wholesale. So retailers are excluded. They are not part of the scope of the food recall. If there is any threat to the consumer's health, so the food recall is initiated. So the food business operator shall maintain the actually all the record up to the distribution. Food business operator will submit a recall alert notification to the state authority and food authority immediately. Also, he or she will stop the distribution of the product of that particular batch. Interestingly, in last year we have seen some kind of recall which are mandatory recalls issued by food authority. And those recalls were based on the food safety measures and there was a threat to the health of the consumers and thus the recalls were initiated. You might be recalling those food recall. Food recall plan. The state food authority or food authority India will review the adequacy of the proposed recall plan and recommend the changes as appropriate. Sometime they may give some more instruction to recall the further product or they may actually restrict the recall to only those batches. So it depends on the gravity of the issues related to the food safety. Friends, as given in this slide, there are total eight stages of the food recall. This slide is very, very important. So for food recall, before happening of the any recall, it is very, very important to understand, assemble the team and identify the responsibility. Every food business operator should have a team who is responsible for a food recall if there is a necessity. It cannot be post operation. When there is an issue and then you are searching for the people who are responsible for the food recall, it is not acceptable. You should have a plan and you should have a team in place with identified responsibility. Then if there is an issue with reference to the food safety, which has a major impact to the actually the consumer, then immediate notification to the state and central authority. Third point is identify individual and business to whom food may have been supplied. So a forward tracking, it's very, very important at this stage. You need to identify where this particular product has been supplied to and where this product recall has to be implemented. In the storage location at various locations, at the wholesaler, at the depots, you need to segregate the storage and if that product is to be taken back, or stop, it could go for reprocessing if that particular issue is with reference to the some non-food safety or having a less impact to the food safety or destroy that product which is non-processable. After that, check the effectiveness of the recall. After that, provide the authority with interim report including a action taken and results of the recall and how you have disposed that particular product. And then state food authority after understanding that recall is successful will terminate the recall. These are the stages of the food recall which will be taken by the food safety operator. So when it comes to the responsibility of the food recall, there are three stakeholders, food business operator, state food authority and central food authority which is the FSSA. So, Food business operator needs to initiate the food recall when there is a problem to the food with respect to the food safety. He is also or she is also responsible to remove the recall when the recall has been successfully implemented. State food authority is responsible to supervise the recall initiated by food business operator. State food authority is also responsible to inspect the food business operator's capability of the recall and after receiving the recall alert notification. The state food authority above that then there is a FSSA which is a food authority of India. They are responsible to supervise state competency of on the food authority state food authority to execute the recall procedure. The state food authority who will be actually inspecting the food actually the FBOs how they are taking the recall and the central food authority or FSSA, they are responsible to ensure that all the recall, whatever is being initiated to keep it on the portal, 
and monitor the recall and that information should be given to all the stakeholders. So there are the three stakeholders. One is FBOs, which is the food business operator, state food authority and food authorities. And the responsibilities are given in this particular chart. They, this is an example issued, uh, actually this is a recall notice issued on 6th of January 2015 in one of the companies where FSS has ordered recall for particular one rejection of particular one item for one company. And if you search in the FSS website as a food recall, you will get such notifications or recall notices and you can learn many, many other things. So friends, in this module, we have learned three aspects food alert. Whenever there is an issue, the FSSI will initiate the alert for information or for action for the consumers or state food safety authorities. Second thing we learned about traceability. In traceability, there are two aspects. One is forward traceability, which is tracing and a backward traceability, which is tracking. The third aspect is about food recall in accordance with the section 28, food recall is mandatory if there is any threat to the consumer health and food authority can initiate, state food authority can initiate. However, actual food recall has to be implemented by the business operator. It's called as a food business operator. So in nutshell, we have learned three things, food alert, food traceability and food recall. Thank you.